All right, we are back with the third edition of Poetry by Bob McAllister. This time, another 1984 poem. 84, 84, woo! And uh, not one of Mac's best poems, but still flashes of brilliance. It's called Horses, Stars, and Hands. We'll talk more about that title in a minute, but here we go. Seeing is another way of believing that the sweet taste of sudden juice or stolen lips is eternal. Um, so let me just stop right there and sudden juice or stolen lips. Sudden juice or stolen lips. I'm gonna go with sudden juice because stolen lips kind of sounds like you went into the drugstore and ripped off some wax lips and ran down Winslow Way. Sudden juice, that sounds more like, you know, like a sports drink or something, like Power Aid. You know, you could market that. Michael Jordan's sudden juice. The sweet taste of sudden juice or stolen lips is eternal and lasts longer than the ride that took you on a wild horse named Pedro. Into the woods and branches whipped and cut your face until you leaned to throw your arms around its neck, Pedro, and keep breathing until the ride was over or slow enough so you could fall off the side and not break your neck. I felt like I was gonna break my neck trying to finish that sentence. It gets better though, this, this is where the magic happens. Stick with me. Breaking your neck on an anvil of a job and stuttering from one person to another is a way to say to the stars, I'm like you. I have this speck of eternal light that sends itself to other planets in the emptiness of space. I like that a lot. I mean, most people have jobs that they don't like and relationships are you know, that don't work, and Match.com is a disaster, and you feel like you're out in this giant universe of emptiness, you know, just floating in space. Once I reached blind for your hand and couldn't hold on, I burned out like a comet, whirled away like a cyclone. Burn and whirl with me. The air will contain us. Read this poem before it explodes. And for those last two lines, you've got to read it like Darth Vader, right? I think. Burn and whirl with me, Luke. The air will contain us. Read this poem before it explodes. Then it's like the Death Star, right? <laughs> Um, the title, Horses, Stars, and Hands, I don't know. I think maybe for the next edition, Mac, this is just a suggestion, but how about just a horse named Pedro? Or just Pedro? I think that kind of sums it up, really. I vote for Pedro. Pedro. 